Hi folks, welcome back to Year of Mbira. It's Andy here with week eight, video eight, Crossing Paths. Um, so this is an extension on what we explored last week in that Mbira matrix graphic that you got in the downloads. There's patterns that we can play in separate registers. Some of them we can slide around and play elsewhere. Some are more difficult to play because they cross awkward points on the instrument. Um, this video, I wanted to chuck a couple of, um, I wanted to reinforce those ideas and chuck a couple of new patterns in. Uh, some already will be familiar to some of you and some of them will be new. So let's just take a look at the basic left hand part for um, the basic memory recessor. Uh, Kishara. So the um, notes there kind of in pairs. That, that, that. High, low, high, low, and so on. The low notes are marking out the root notes of the chord progression. Um, so that pattern is illustrated in blue on your matrix in the downloads this week, and you could uh, play it up here. You could play it here. You could combine all of those. All right, if I play the ones up here and here, then I'm staying faithful to that sort of high low. Nice one, cool. Um, so yeah, that's a basic example that'll be really familiar to most of you. Um, then, um, we can take those root notes and find the same pattern, the same rotationally symmetric pattern that they make exactly a fifth above. So um, let me do that in progression four. Uh, if I carry on with those notes, high lows, or I could do low highs, low high, low high, low, uh, just to mix it up. Um, exactly a fifth above it would sound like this. Uh, above playing here. Root notes for progression one, but a fifth above our root notes in progression four. Um, let's do high lows. Oh, sorry. Forward plays in the Name of Musasa download. Um, this pattern where he's playing the right and the left hand notes exactly the same. So something like this. something similar we could play our um, fifth above at the same time as playing the root notes over here practice that one did I nice one so you get the idea that uh, fifth above is another option but the notes going up um, is less common in the right hand we tend to hear notes going down you'll see an illustration of the uh, cascade uh, but it's really long it's a long line with a gap missing between the first and the second note so I missed out note seven there and between the 11th and the 12th note so if I carry going all the way down We can't easily play all of that while maintaining a left hand pattern. 
So there's another illustration in the download of that whole cascade, but split into two parts. And when they're stacked above each other, we end up with a gap at the beginning, and a gap at the end. And that would sound something more like this uh, against our left hand octave pair. So at the beginning, I had a gap between the one and the six, note seven was missing, and at the end, between note four and note two, there's a gap there. Um, I'll tell you something interesting about this pattern in a second. I'll play again. Look out for those gaps. Missing note seven at the beginning, note three at the end. Cool. So that pattern has got that rotational symmetry or retrograde inversion. And in progression four, it fits here between note two and one. We can move it down in progression three. It would be from the note seven down to note one. If we went down further into progression two, it would start spilling over and we'd need to use this note here. So yeah, that's not an available option, uh, but we can move up from progression four. We can move into progression five, uh, high note two down to the note three there. If you've got an extra note three or even more notes, you can jump up more. So an extra note three and you can play in progression six. Um, but it's not essential that you're playing patterns that have got this rotational symmetry. I'm just choosing them because I find them really attractive and they're, um, the ones I'm showing you are kind of essentials as well. Nice one. So um, this idea that you can find a pattern um, and play it a fifth above, there's something uh, new that I want to show you and it's a new way of orienting ourselves around the, the root notes. So instead of going like this, in progression four, let's say, and playing up to a sort of restricted range, we can go up, and then it's sort of staggered running down before we then reach the sort of bottom note that rises all the way up, moving through thirds for the last three chords, and continuing to move through thirds in our first three chords. So we end up giving this, getting this pattern here. I'm just stopping there so you can hear that at the end. The last three chords and first three chords, all moving up in thirds. And then the rest of the pattern has this sort of pairs of notes falling falling down here again. Um, I won't play that in Naomi Musasa. What I'm gonna do is transpose that pattern into um, Bangiza or Progression 7 and we end up with this. hear those notes being marked out by Simbotti in Beer Online and his Bangiza variations. Um, I make a note in the uh, notation pack that he does something a little bit cheesy um, if you were to maintain it and play it all the time and that was playing roots and fifths as well at the same time so uh, instead of going he chucks in the fifth of each uh, root note. So there's a written a fifth, root fifth, root fifth, root fifth, root fifth, root fifth. Root fifth. Um, if we carry on that approach across the whole pattern I've just shown you, you end up with something like this, starting from the beginning of the progression as we know, so called seven, then two, then one. Interestingly, the fifths that I've just played there are the roots in progression four. So yeah, I've taken that idea and dragged it across 
Um, let's see uh, about ways we can... Oh, let me put a, a random right hand against that idea so you can just see what it brings out. Um, actually, I'll play it square, so left uh, on beats one and three of each chord. Roots and fifths um, in the left hand, but playing the progression using this new uh, way of visualizing it instead of one, low, mid, high, low, mid, high, low, mid, high, low, mid, high, it's going low, mid, high, low, mid, sort of low, mid, low, mid, low, mid, doing that staggered descent before going up in third, do, 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 last three and first three chords. Cool. Um, so let's see about sticking that. Um, in the left hand uh, against our three note pattern. I'll just pop that up here because I, I can see that it fits. Um, the, the root notes, the highest root note is there. Um, and we've got this space up here to play our three note pattern, which in progression seven sounds like. that with this um, and then yeah we're starting to get this sense of moving parts around the instrument independent melody lines um, and entering that and bearer matrix as well so beat one of each chord I'm playing the root note pattern that sort of going up in thirds at the beginning and then got a staggered descent and on beat three of each chord I'm going to play the three note pattern up here uh, in a second I'll pop something in the right hand against it so Now, I'm hoping that you won't go, oh great, I'm going to learn exactly that, um, and then just leave it there. You can learn stuff that I'm showing you, but I'd rather you took the ideas and explored it yourself, and that's going to be a much deeper um, learning experience for you. Um, any sort of struggle that you go through, just sit back and go, right, that pain is my brain growing. Um, and remember that 85% rule that I get offered right at the beginning of the, the first videos in the Discover Embira. If you can find something to work on that um, you've got an 85% chance success rate chance of succeeding at so like you yeah you've got really good chance of succeeding at it but there's some risk that 15 percent of risk you may or may not get it those sorts of exercises are considered to be the the ones that are going to put you into the most sort of alert state give you the deepest learning good chance of success but with some risk it's going to keep you awake um and you're not going to be reinforcing mistakes um more often than successes so yeah great uh way to think about what we're doing here so let me pop in a right hand i'll i'll make it up as i go so i can concentrate on what's going on here mm -mm -mm. oh no it's like
this so you get the idea we can start putting things together it might be that you create an exercise for yourself and you're like actually i don't really like the sound of that so much um but you've got some new shapes in your hand through doing it um let's see what that exercise has sort of inspired me to do in this moment um see where it goes start to sort of experience a bit more freedom. I'm less excited about what I've just played than what I'd normally play with Bang Eva. Um, so, yeah. The, the ones and the twos there didn't appeal to me that much. What I'd like to invite you to do is to tell me what progression are you working on and I can go away this next week um, and pick, you can tell me in the, the comments below or you can send me a message um, and I'll go away and I'll pick out one of these paths or some other paths and I'll come up with my own pattern that uses the ideas that we've explored so far to create something new. Uh, so I can show my thinking behind it and I'll try and come up with something that I think is attractive or maybe um, comparable to something traditional or I'll find a traditional example as well. Um, nice one. Thanks so much because it's getting a bit dark in here. Nice one. Thanks everyone for your support, subscribing, um, questions, comments, likes, shares and subscribes. Take care and I'll be in touch soon. Check out the download as well in the video description. Cheers.